restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited to finally be doing my mini Game of Thrones series. For the first house, I chose Lannister. The colors are blood red and gold, and this look is so pretty. I did my face and all the boring stuff off camera. The products will be in the description box below. And for this look, I'm using mainly the Jaclyn Hill Phase Palette. So going in with a transition color, I'm using the color Silk Cream, and I'm just plopping this onto my crease. Not being precise about it, but I am really working it in to make sure it's nice and blended and blended and not too harsh. I'm then applying Puder, and with this color, I'm being more precise with it because I want it to be more darker on the outer parts of the eye as well as just a tiny bit on the inner part but you know be nice and blended and blended and it helps blend out darker colors later now I'm using Roxanne but it's actually Hunt's I totally messed up I didn't really like how it looked on camera applying this before Jax which is the red that we're using later but in person it actually helped it look more fiery and you know awesome so you know I don't regret doing what I chose to do and now I'm using Jax for this red color I really didn't have an idea of what I wanted to do I just sat down got my Jaclyn Hill palette out and wanted to play with it and decided to film with it so as you can see I decided to do a halo eye which I just apply darker colors to the inner part of my eye and the outer part of my eye blend it out make it look all smoky but leave the innermost part of my lid blank I almost had to burp, but you know, yield them. I'm now applying Queen for the gold in the look. I'm applying it with just some flat brush, and then I applied it with my fingers to see how I preferred using these shadows, specifically the shimmery ones. And I have to say that using a finger or a brush, it applies it very pretty and very pigmented. And then to give it more depth, I'm applying Jax and Abyss to the red parts of the eye, and this just made it pop. It made it look good and like blood red and dark and amazing. And now to make the gold pop even more, I'm applying Obsessed, which is a shimmery taupe in the palette. But guys, I'm telling you, on top of Queen, it looks like a super pretty white gold color. It's amazing. I love it. And now I'm just wiping off my baggage. The only thing with this palette is that they don't have like a matte, creamy ivory color. So I took my Shanix Old palette and used that color for my brow bone highlight. But other than that, this palette is bomb.com so far. Uh, like I said earlier, this is my first time using it. So I'm just applying some face powder, contouring my cheekbones to look badass and fierce and you know, all that jazz like the Lannisters. And yeah, I'm just using the e.l.f. contour quad to get these cheekbones and my camera wasn't recording so I feel derpy so yeah I just applied eyeliner all around my eye and then I smoked out my lower lash line using the same colors that we used on the top of our lids obviously <laughs> and now I'm applying mascara for this look I really wish I had some very dramatic false eyelashes because that's what I would prefer with this type of look but it looks really pretty with just mascara then I'm applying some blush by wet n wild this is a Fergie one so they don't make it anymore but I just applied a nice blushed color then to highlight my cheekbones to make them look even more fierce like the Lannisters I chose the color beam and this is a really pretty highlight it's perfect for all you fair skin girls out there I love it it's amazing for my lips I wanted it to be really warm brown so I applied a color pop lippy pencil in Taurus this is like a really warm brown and it made the lip the liquid lipstick I'm applying look so pretty this is missing and fierce by wet and wild this is one of their liquid cat suits I obsessed with them you should go try them they're only five dollars at the drugstore and it's amazing this look would look really pretty with a nude lip but for the purpose of this video i want it to be very dramatic but anyway that's the completed look comment down below what you think will be the next house there's only 13 days till season seven guys like hello also my social media and my blog will be in the description box below i love you guys so so much until next time bye